Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be comparing these Iron Lac colored pencils to my Prismacolor Premiers. I've been really curious about these because uh, they actually are described here as very opaque, which I am which is something that I really prefer in a colored pencil. And I was really curious to see how these stack up against my favorite colored pencil, Prismacolor Premiers. Now to begin, first impressions, pretty good. The packaging is really nice and um, it, it, it's kind of like stylish. <laughs> and also these colored pencils here are actually the triangle shape. So it's got like a tri grip, which I kind of do like with my colored pencils. I think that it stops them from rolling away and it's a more comfortable grip in your hand. Now, actually looking at the pencils themselves, I do think that these are very nicely made. They're pretty good quality. The wood feels nice and it doesn't feel like cheap or I don't know, just like lesser quality made like some other pencils. Now I was very, very curious about the opacity of these because they say that they are nice and opaque, but uh, other pencils have said that they're opaque before and haven't been. <laughs> so I actually want to test these out and do a little swatch because I love swatching new art supplies. It just gives me a good feel for the way these pencils work and we can have a look at each of the colors and compare them to the colors on the actual pencil barrel. <laughs> and also it just gives me a good like starting point uh, because you know, like starting off with an art supply, it's kind of scary to just open it and start drawing <laughs> and a nice little swatch is a good way to warm up into it. Now I actually want to do some more swatches and this time I've chose some different colors of cardstock here with a little bit of texture on it because I want to test out the opacity of these pencils as I said just before. <laughs> and first impressions, uh, I don't know, they didn't look the best on the dark purple and uh, they're not as vibrant here on the black either which is uh, a little bit worrying considering that uh, that was like the reason that I was slightly drawn to these pencils but we will move on to other colors here I have a nice light green and um, yeah overall the colors aren't that bad they do look nice however they're just not as bright as my Prisma colors would be on the same paper so there's that but we're not going to be swatching every single color on every single color of paper because i just feel like that's a waste of time so i just picked a few different colors and i also did some little scribbles here and uh, as you can see i am being very thorough in testing many different colors of paper i have a bright red here which i think is pretty interesting i don't think i've ever drawn on red paper before but anyways now i'm just going in and i'm going to use my prisma colors and swatch on the same paper and do the same things and just see the difference in uh, color and overall you can tell straight away that the prisma colors are unfortunately better <laughs> they are more vibrant and the white it looks whiter on the paper compared to the white iron like pencil and also i just feel like they do go on a little bit more smoothly now maybe these pencils are made to be drawn on white paper but if that's the case then maybe don't say uh, exceptional transparency or something along the lines on the packaging because I just feel like maybe that was a little bit misleading um, or maybe maybe I'm just spoiled with uh, good quality uh, bright pigments in my Prismacolor Premiers. Anyways, moving on, uh, let's actually test this out and make an artwork for this because, you know, that's the whole point of these pencils. You're supposed to make art with them. And uh, maybe I'm giving, maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh on them with the, uh, the swatching stage. Maybe if I just make an artwork, uh, I, I will enjoy it. So let's do that. Now, I'm actually going to be doing a little portrait 
of my um, my partner's mom's cat and her name is Kelly and I just think she is the most adorable little cat she's got a very very cute little personality she um, she's a little bit shy sometimes and she doesn't like being picked up and she uh, only likes being touched when she chooses but that is okay, you know, we respect a queen who sets her own boundaries, but she is super adorable and funny. And when she's in the mood, she, she can be quite affectionate and she has a really cool personality too. So we're starting off with a light sketch with a, a lead pencil and I'm just uh, trying to get the anatomy and the shapes of her head and uh, like her head compared to her body correctly. And I'm just using a reference on my phone, as you can see. And I'm not trying to go too crazy with details because I'm going to do all of that with the color pencils. This is just a light sketch which I have uh, actually lightened up with my pencil. And now we're moving on to the color pencils. So to begin, I am using a gray pencil here to add in the shadows which are going to be on the white parts of this cat because she is a calico. She has a mix of white, uh, orange and also like a, a brownie black color and I think it's adorable. So I'm just going in lightly and I'm doing in some light sort of furry textures where the gray is and now I'm moving on to the white pencil and I am filling that in where all of the white is. And I'm trying to overlay and blend a little bit with the gray and the white to try and get some nice shades because I think this is probably the only gray in the set. And at this point I'm starting to feel a little bit underwhelmed <laughs> I don't know I, I, I'm trying not to be too salty because uh, Prismacolor is my favorite pencils and I don't want to be biased but that white just isn't popping off the page as much as a white pencil from a different brand and I'm using a sort of like a, a, a light sort of neutral brownish kind of color for the paper because I really wanted that white to pop off and have it look nice and bright uh, compared to just drawing a mostly white cat on mostly white paper. Moving on to the colors here now, I'm just doing some very light layers of orange and I'm going to be adding in some details over the top of that, but I'm just very lightly shading in the areas where her ginger fur is and that's mostly on the top of her head and as you can see I'm adding in some brown details with the stripes on the ginger parts and I'm also adding a little bit of yellow uh, for like highlights and lighter fur colors and also a little bit of brown which is where her darker patterns are going to be. Now I've also added in some yellow on her eyes and I'm using a green to uh, go around the part where the pupil is going to be because she does have a little hint of green in her eyes as well as yellow. After this, I'm going in with my black pencil here and I'm glad that the black is nice and dark and um, that's gonna really help me get some contrast because the uh, white wasn't as bright as I'd hoped, but I think we're gonna make this work. So I'm just going in with the black and I'm going into the darkest areas of Callie's patterns on her head and there are some little black stripey areas as well as some little parts of uh, like fur that's sort of mixed between orange and black. So for those parts, I'm just adding in some little strokes of uh, just like texture, uh, which will allude to fur and it will look a lot more like fur as I layer other colors over the top of each other. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you get a fur texture of a cat. You just like, like do the base colors and then build up that fur texture over the top and uh, use different colors and mix them together. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fun drawing fur on a cat actually. Now I kind of want to talk about what I like about these pencils and what I don't like about these pencils. So as, so as I said earlier, the pros are nice packaging. I think it was very nicely presented and the uh, metal case is good quality as well. It's not like cheap and rattly. Um, the wood and the grip of the pencils is really nice. They're very comfortable to hold in my hand. The colors do look nice and vibrant. However, I feel like they aren't as pigmented as other pencil brands of the same price. 
um, the lead of these pencils is nice uh, good quality it doesn't break as much as Prismacolors the only downside I find with Prismacolors is that the lead breaks a lot but that's because the lead is nice and soft which is very good for blending anyways so the cons of these pencils uh, they're not as opaque that is the one thing I just don't like about these pencils unfortunately I really tried to give them like a good chance but I'm very picky with uh, the opacity of pencils because I really like to use a lot of mixed media techniques and I like to draw on different colors of paper um, not just white like brown black and uh, even paper that I've painted over with a sort of mixed media artwork I find that these pencils don't really layer as well as Prismacolors or other pencils that I have used. I find that uh, once you get sort of enough color on there to do a layer, it kind of uses up the tooth of the page a little bit. Uh, with my knowledge, there are only 48 colors available with these pencils. There's two different sets, the Series 1 and Series 2, that you'd have to get if you want to get every single color. And uh, with Prismacolors, there are a lot more colors available, so you can do a lot more with a lot more colors, obviously. And I want to also talk about the price. So I bought these Iron Lac pencils for $43 for a 24 pack. Now. I've actually looked up the price of Prismacolor pencils and uh, it's around $54 for a 24 pack. Now this is Australian dollar pricing obviously, just letting you guys know, I don't want anyone to get confused. This is Australian dollar, but honestly I find that for the price that you pay for these iron like pencils, I think you can definitely get better quality pencils for around the same price. Even if you don't get Prismacolors, there are other ones like Faber-Castell, Polychromos, or even Derwent's, which I honestly would say are better than these pencils. I feel like I'm being like very sassy today with this and um, I'm throwing a bit of shade, but honestly, I'm not throwing shade to the company. I'm just uh, telling my honest opinion about these pencils and uh, obviously comparing them to other color pencils. So anyways, back to the artwork. As you can see, I've actually got out my Prismacolors here and I am finishing off the artwork with them to show more of a comparison with how these pencils work on the paper. And the first thing I did was I got out my white pencil and I tried my best to add in some highlights over the top of the white of the other pencils. And as you can tell, the white is brighter on this paper and uh, it didn't layer perfectly over the top of the areas where I added a a lot of white onto the paper with the old pencils, the iron lac pencils, um, but some areas where I didn't add in too much pigment, I was able to get uh, a nice layer of Prismacolor highlight over the top and I think it worked out pretty well and I think I actually improved this artwork with the other pencils. I'm also adding in some plants around her to have a nice sort of little frame of plants around the cat and I think it turned out very cute and the colors are nice and vibrant and very smooth on the paper as well and uh, they layer much better than the iron lac pencils. So overall, I do like this artwork. I think it turned out super cute, but I do feel like I had to use the Prismacolor Premiers to sort of save the artwork. And uh, I felt like with the iron lac pencils, I was fighting against them a little bit to try and get more pigment on the page. And that's not what you want to do when using colored pencils, especially $43 colored pencils. But anyways, here is the final results for this artwork and I think it turned out very cute. Uh, Callie looks very nice with her little flowers around her and I think that uh, the colors and stuff turned out pretty good too. So anyways, let me know in the comments below if you found this video informative or maybe you just really like the kitty cat drawing that I did. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button to get your squirrel fix in the future. Uh, please stay safe and stay healthy out there and I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.